I do what any sensible physicist would do. I'm going to say that in this experiment, there is a lump of some sort, okay. uh, which is put into a superposition of two locations. That's a little, little stone, which goes into two places, or a little bead or something, which is part of the experiment. Now, I try to use the Einsteinian, Galilean Einsteinian perspective, and I ran into trouble, because as I get close to the bead, I see the, the, whether it's here or here, I can't get rid of them both at once. And that's, of course, the Einstein problem, which led to general relativity. Can't get rid of them both at once by free fall. So what do I do? I do what any sensible physicist would do. I cheat. I say, OK, I know I should be using the Einstein perspective, but let's just try instead measure the mistake that I'm making by adopting that uh, by the Newton Newtonian perspective. So I adopt the Newtonian perspective, but keep track of what might be a little error in doing it. Then I integrate that error over space, and I do a little integration by parts and some little bit of fiddling around with it. And I get with an answer, which looks like a uncertainty in the mass of the system. It is the mass of the system, but it's not the, the fact that it's a superposition uh -huh. gives me an uncertainty of that mass. Now I can measure, and now the thing is, that's a bit like particle physics, where you have, if you have a decaying particle, its mass is not completely well defined. It has an, a, an error of fuzziness in its mass, which is given by the Heisenberg time energy uncertainty principle. So it's, it's lifetime, if it's an unstable particle, is inversely related to this sort of fuzziness in its mass. Now here, I have fuzziness, I have a fuzziness in, in the energy of the system, the mass energy of the system. So I say that's the reciprocal of that in natural units is the, when I say natural units, I mean making all the things equal to one that you can do, <laughs> as Dirac sort of Right. pointed out, I guess. And I get the formula, which Dioshi had already discovered a couple of years earlier than me. Right, for different reasons. I, I didn't know he'd done that. It was a different argument. Uh -huh. But I thought this was a nice argument because it just revealed the tension between these two very basic principles. Principle of equivalence and the principle of superposition. And they're a bit in conflict with each other. And the resolution of this conflict comes through allowing your unstable state to collapse into one or the 